Merry Christmas Eve. I'm still baking. Today, uh, I got a couple things I'm going to make. The first thing I'm going to make is bread pudding. Chocolate chip walnut bread pudding. And this came about earlier today because the idea for it, because I had about half a package of these um, brioche style butter rolls, little slider size rolls, left over from last week. And I knew we weren't gonna eat them, and I didn't wanna toss them. So I thought, ooh, bread pudding would be good with those rolls. Thing of it is, it was about half a package, which wound up being about five cups of cubes. I cut them into cubes. And then I toasted them for five minutes at 350 so that hopefully they'll absorb the um, egg mixture better. So anyway, um, I'm kind of winging it on the amounts of the ingredients for this. So if you're seeing this video, that means it worked. <laughs> it turned out the way I wanted it to. Um, that kind of makes me think somehow, makes me think of back to the future for some reason. If you're seeing this video, that means, anyway, let's start making some bread pudding. Here are the cubes. The bread cubes that I put in the oven at 350 for five minutes just to get them a little toasty. And uh, then my other ingredients are right here ready to mix up. I'm not going to use a mixer with this. I'm just going to whisk it up and I'm going to start with four eggs. And I just got the egg carton out. I didn't get my eggs out. So one and two and one more a lot first ooh need a dish towel to wipe my fingers. Uh, first, I'm going to whisk the eggs up, but I just thought of something else that I need to put in here, and that's just a little dash of salt. I think that will, that will help the flavor a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to whisk up these eggs. And then I have a combination of one cup of heavy cream and one cup of whole milk. So I guess that's like two cups of half and half, pretty much. I'm gonna add that into the eggs. Along with three quarters of a cup of white sugar. And I'm gonna gently beat the sugar into the eggs and the milk and try to uh, get the sugar dissolved here pretty quickly. I guess it probably wouldn't have hurt to have gotten that mixer out when you think about mixing the sugar in well with the milk and the eggs, but I think it'll be okay. I can feel it coming together pretty good. Okay, now let's add in one cup, about one cup of chopped walnuts. I didn't toast the walnuts, I thought about it, but then I didn't. And about a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And of course we're gonna need some vanilla. Almost out in this jar. I don't know if I have a teaspoon in here or not. Oh, I do. I was wanting two teaspoons, and that's about what I have. That's perfect. Just, you know, one teaspoon would probably be just fine, but I just, oh, there's a little more in there. <laughs> and I like a lot of vanilla, so I'm using two teaspoons. And then, oh, you can see the vanilla kind of helps make the color a little darker. I like that. 
All right, so there's our mixture, and I've probably got more mixture than I need for the amount of bread I have, but let's just go with it. Let me bring my little Pyrex dish over here, and I'm going to spray it with some vegetable oil just to make sure it doesn't stick, which it probably wouldn't anyway. Then I'm going to put my pieces of bread cubes into the bowl. Probably could have put this in with the mixture, but kind of going at it backwards, I guess. I want the crumbs in there too. And when I um, cut the bread into cubes, I also had some crumbs that I'm gonna add. No, no need to waste them. All right, now let's pour this over the bread. Get those walnuts out of the whisk. Ooh, all those chocolate chips are kind of at the bottom. They are heavy. All right, so let's just kind of dunk the bread down into egg and milk mixture and sugar. I want the bread to get wet, moist, but I also do want to have some of the bread um, sticking up like this so that it will get brown. And I want it to have the egg also. So let me just make sure all this bread has lots of the liquid. Kind of move it around to disperse disperse those chocolate chips better. Okay, <clears throat> I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put it in the oven. It's preheated at 350. I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes and if it Probably will need more time, but I'm going to check it to see if it's uh, if it's set up good and and all of the ingredients are cooked well. Um, so it may take longer than 30 minutes, but that's what I'm going to start with. So we'll be back in a little bit. Hey, bread pudding's out of the oven. It's actually been sitting on top of the stove for about 15 minutes. I wanted to let it sit for a little bit wound up letting it bake for an hour at 350 and uh, it, it's pretty much it's just completely done but it's still a little soft in the center and that's okay because after it cools I'm going to refrigerate it and then I'm going to heat it up tomorrow morning so it'll be good uh, that it's a little soft still don't want it to be over dry of course uh, let me show you what the bread pudding looks like I think it looks fabulous. You can see the chocolate chips and the walnuts and the bread is toasty on top. And of course, I am going to take a little taste. So, get a little bit out and it's still popping hot. Let me go down to the bottom where that chocolate is all nice and melty. Oh, mercy. That, um, it's looking good. I'm going to let this cool for just a minute. Now, as far as how would you serve it, what would you serve it with? I watched uh, I watched a video of Anna Garten making uh, brioche bread pudding. She was making a whole lot more than I was, so I had to had to kind of accommodate the ingredients to fit my amount of bread. And uh, she she's made vanilla. She didn't add the chocolate chips or the walnuts, but um, where was I going with that? Ah, the sauce. <laughs> so she had this, this, I think, brilliant idea for a vanilla sauce to go with bread pudding. Just melt some vanilla ice cream. Isn't that great? I love those easy kind of things like that. So let's taste this now. I think it's cooled a little bit. Mm. 
This is so rich and good. It's kind of like French toast, you know, it's, it's nice and soft, but it's crunchy. The, the pieces that were sticking out are crunching along the sides and the chocolate is melted and the walnuts. Oh, this is really good. Mm. I'll tell you, I'm so glad I looked at that package of brioche little rolls earlier and thought, I need to do something with those or else I'm going to be throwing them away. <sighs> it's brilliant. <gasps> Even if I say so myself. See y'all. Merry Christmas.